a glorious opening day at the 145th Open at Royal True. But this would be no duel in the sun. This was to become the duel of the suns. Just a genius. In the battle between Henrik Stenson and Phil Mickelson, day one belonged to the American. Unbelievable. A chance to set a new standard at the last. to make golfing history. A score of 62 still elusive in open history. If the course rolled out the red carpets on Thursday, on Friday it showed its teeth. You bleaker places than a Lynx golf course in bad weather. With a drop in temperature, to the fore came the ice man himself. Straight in the middle. Looks so, oh, that's nice. It looks like it's rolled back down into the middle of the bunker, which is a big bonus. Shot. Some Mickelson magic, helping maintain a one-shot lead. Go on, go on. Oh. Those two home, and still relatively dry. Others were not so fortunate. And those players who played this afternoon in the heavy rain and the strong winds really found Lynx golf at its toughest. If it's any consolation, the forecast is for much easier conditions tomorrow. Round three saw the leading pair share a tee for the first time. Trading blows and a sign of things to come. It's uphill, it's quite slow, needs hitting. What a wonderful putt. Majestic stroke from Stenson. He's responding to Mickelson. Advantage Mickelson. What a ding dong battle from these two players. Just been extraordinary. Just magnificent. Absolutely magnificent, Henrik Stenson. The Swede, beaten into second by Mickelson just three years earlier, now with a one shot lead the stage set for a Sunday to remember and a score to settle. There's always revenge. <laughs>46 years old, looking to become the second oldest winner ever of the Open. Stenson looking for a first major title to complement a glittering career. Well, we're all on the course, we're on our way. What a fascinating battle it's going to be, though, isn't it? I'm so looking forward to this. The Swede first to play, and an early stumble. That's a poor one from Henrik. A miss hit it or under club. Mickelson quick to pounce. You learn something from Henrik's ball there, it really stalled in the air. Oh, talk about laying down a marker. This is really just a tap-in birdie. It is a two-shot swing. And Henrik Stenson's lead didn't last too long. Phil Mickelson back at the top of the leaderboard. On to the second, and Lefty was doing lefty things. How did that not go in? But this is a game of millimetres, and Stenson made his count. I think it's important he holds this. Brilliant. What a day this is going to be. Not exactly a quiet start to the final round for these two, is it, Mark? No, I don't think they're uh, messing about, are they? It's um, whew, some good shots. Ah, oh, brilliant. They'll have a couple.
couple of heavyweight boxers and they just keep landing punches, don't they? A blow from the Swede and a Mickelson stumble. Stenson knocked it in, put the pressure on him, and he missed it. The American was looking for an instant response on the par 5 fourth. Oh, lovely shot from Mickelson. These guys are coming out flushing it. That's majestic. Eagle three for Mickelson. The Stenson birdie left the pair seven clear, tied at the top at 14 under. And whilst the chasing pack began to falter, the duo remained imperious and inseparable as they approached the iconic postage stamp. One of the shortest holes in major golf and one of the most daunting. Best head-to-head -head contest for an Open Championship since the epic duel in the sun at Tunbury. Stenson again with a chance to apply the pressure. Yes! It's really going to be a shame, Duke, that somebody's got to lose today. This to stay alongside Stenson. The chance to make the first blow there, and he did, took advantage of it. Yet another swing in this engrossing encounter. You've just joined us. Wherever you are around the world, you're in for a treat. The final round of the Open. Those treats continued after the turn. Sounded nice and crisp. Astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Neither one will give me. It's just too beautiful. It's staggering, really, because you see all these other players, they're missing greens, they're, they're, you know, they're struggling a little bit, and these guys just keep hitting fairways and greens and chugging along. Incredible. Mickelson once more would have to respond. You beauty. New beauty to Harvard in blooming threes. That's fantastic. <laughs> Both five under for the day. The eleventh saw Stenson slip for the first time since the first. Oh. But that ties them all up at 16. But that parity looked to be short-lived as Phil found trouble on 12. Every time Henrik Stenson lands a punch, he comes straight back. Fabulous four from the former winner. Par was shared on 13, and at 14, the same looked likely. Stenson with a long look at Birdie. And he's got it! Wonderful putt from Henrik Stenson, and once again, he edges ahead of Phil Mickelson. Four holes to go. Stenson by one. That birdie on 14 swung the match in his favour. But what was to come on 15? Just about makes it. Just about hangs on. From 214 yards, it's not a shocker. Would deliver what looked like a killer blow. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on! Go on! Oh, what a putt, Henrik Stenson! No! Oh, oh. Oh, this, what a day, my goodness me. Send me some oxygen. Mickelson, not a man to know when he's beaten, once again threw down the gauntlet. Come on, come on. Well, we didn't expect anything else. Just a 25 foot of an eagle for Mr. Mickelson, who's two behind. Pressure's back on Stenson.
extension once again with nerves of steel. But Mickelson still had a chance to close the gap. Oh no! Goodness gracious oh, me! How close can it be? Relief and records now on the horizon. Mistakes there. Magnificent Henrik Stanson, 19 under par. The lowest score ever shot in an open. Ninth birdie of the day for Stenson. Four birdies and an eagle for Mickelson, no bogeys. What a show from these two. It's all about finishing the job at this point. I've always believed that I was going to be able to to win the, the Open Championship. Now I had a fantastic opportunity to make it happen. And uh, yeah, I was, I was quite determined not to make that slick. The 18th at Royal Truin is no stranger to drama. A hole more than capable of providing one last sting in the tail. I'm, I'm pumped out for sure. And I hit this thing and it comes out like an absolute rocket. Absolutely beautiful. No, he's not done a Greg Norman. I see the ball disappearing and I said to my uh, caddy Gareth, I said, I think that one's in the bunker. Oh, he very nearly did a Greg Norman. What's that, a foot? I always felt like I was gonna do it. In the back of my mind, that's always been there and I think just felt like it was my time. Even Phil the Magician can't do anything about that. There are some wonderful arenas around the 18th hole in the, the world of golf, but for me there's nothing quite like the 18th at the Open. What a putt, absolutely online. He'd hit it, he'd hold it, brilliant. Just rolling it up to make sure a second. No bogeys, no fives, 66. No praises too high for, for me. A single putt for history. Well, this to break the all time record. 19 under's the record, this for 20. And he has! Not only is Henrik Stenson the Open champion, it's the lowest score anyone has ever made in the Open. 20 under par, what a performance. A round of 63 with four birdies in the last five holes. He took everything Phil Mickelson could throw at him, and on the day, he was just too good. I had actually told him at the US Open that uh, you're going to win major championships, and I, something inside me kind of, I felt like it was probably gonna be at my expense when I said that. It's hard not to be happy for a guy like Henrik and his success and, and his Clara Jug. And the champion golfer of the year, is Henrik Stenson. I don't think we'll see such a battle for the Clara Jug as we've seen today for a very long time. <laughs>